Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's Mysteries and Adventures on Trail. I hope everybody's having a great week. And today we are going to talk about Sam Sayers. Now I know we're going to be talking about a lot of cases on this trail, but some of them are have to go in opposite order. Now Sam Sayers was a 2008 graduate of the Northwest Pennsylvania College Academy. She left on the morning of August 1st of 2018 for a day hike at Vesper Peak in the Northern Cascade Range, which is northeast of Seattle, where she lived. She was expected to return that evening and checked in with her family in Snohomish County, the sheriff's office reported. Unfortunately, she never returned. Now, search and rescue team assisted by dogs and drones searched the area for three weeks, which is pretty impressive for a search and rescue attempt before they actually had to stop the operation. Now, when she graduated from the college, Sarah went to the last name of, I'm going to say this wrong, Steinberg. According to the Erie School District, who confirmed her enrollment of 2018 after her collegiate series attended the State University of New York, where she graduated in 2013 with a bachelor's degree in technical theater and theater design and technology, according to what they reported. She was very, very talented. She was very skilled in hiking and a lot of other things series she received a court permission to change her last name to what she did to sayers in may of 2019 2009 excuse me after her stepfather adopted her and her brother in february 2009 according to name change petition on file in the erie county courthouse Mrs. Sayers was healthy, but she was bald because of an alopecia. This is an autoimmune disease that leads to hair loss. It's just something that is inherited. It's really, there's nothing that you can do about it. But she loved her life. She lived her life. She didn't let it her bother her. She lived her life and she continued to continue to do what she loved, which was hiking and camping and doing all the other things that she loved. Samantha Sayer was last seen on August 1st, 2018, while on a Sogo day hike up Vesper Peak in the North Cascades. Now, it was easy to follow hikers to remember the young woman with the bald, tattooed, and wild, beautiful smile that she had. One saw her eating a sandwich, one saw her eating other things, Another saw her descending the south side of the summit, but unfortunately, Sam Sayers, 28, never made it home to her apartment. For 22 days, more than a dozen agencies and countless volunteers scoured the mountain's steep, jagged terrain, which you can see from these pictures is very steep. Helicopters also got involved. The Kings County Search and Rescue conducted an air search using thermal imaging cameras. They used canine teams. They searched for ascent. Nothing was found then possible, even just a boot print. On August 23rd of 2018, unfortunately, the county sheriff's office suspended their search after spending hours of looking for Samantha. Samantha has been missing for all these years, and we still have no idea what happened to her. But I am hopeful that I am going to go up there with some other people. We're going to do some more searching. And even if we can find at this point a recovery, we hope that we can bring her back to her family. I think that even if I can go up there and at least leave one of my silver coins for her and let her know that everyone is still thinking about her and praying for her and letting her know that we all want to bring her home safely to her family. I know at this point it's probably a recovery mission, but I know her family is probably just wanting to know some answers, and I hope I can help them do that. And I hope that you all understand what I'm trying to do with my channel and bring some of these people 
back to their families. And sometimes it's hard because we know that we can't bring them back alive, but at least we can bring them back in a way so that their families can have some closure. And I will always risk my life and do everything I can to do to help them. On August 1st of 2018, she went for a day hike at Vesper Peak, which is in the North Cascade Range of Northeastern Seattle, where she lived. She was expected to return that evening and check in with her family, but however, she never responded and she never returned. And this is when the search got started. As long as I am alive, I will continue to try and help find these people and bring them back to their families. And I know a lot of you don't understand that, but that is what I have dedicated my life to doing. And I appreciate all your support and help, and I wish all the families the best. And I'm sorry that you have to go through all this, because I know it's terrible. I had to go through some terrible training where they actually put me in the middle of nowhere and I had nothing and I and this is what it looks like when you're in the middle of nowhere With no lights yeah absolutely terrifying I will do my best to go up and search for Sam Sayers and find any clues that I can. And of course, I will leave her one of the silver dollars with her name engraved in it from the last point she saw. And my thoughts and prayers go out to her family, her friends, everyone that knew her, and everyone who helped work on this search. My thoughts and prayers go out to all of you. I hope that one day we can bring Sam home and give her some closure, her family some closure, and I will do everything I can to help, to help make that happen. These cases are hard for all of us, and I just want to say thank you all for watching. I really appreciate all your support and feedback, and I want to say thank you to co.ag for providing the background music, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking with me to the end. Um, I appreciate you all sticking with me and um, I'm going to be going up north as I told you in the last video and I did unfortunately have another injury but I'm doing okay. I just unfortunately fractured a few ribs and unfortunately they were the back ribs so even breathing hurts but i appreciate you all following along and i will keep producing videos and if you guys have any questions or comments for me i always love your feedback and i look forward to hearing from each and every one of you like i've said in the past if you guys anybody wants to meet me just let me know just send me a comment and I'm going to be covering a lot more cases along my journey. I'm not going to give up just because of my injury. So please let me know if you have any cases that you would like me to cover. And I will cover those cases. And like I said, I hope all of you are doing well. And I wish you all the best. And I will see you soon. I will keep working on getting the upload schedule better so that you guys get more videos. And I do truly apologize about the video schedule not being as current as it normally is. Okay, so I will talk to you all soon. And thank you for all your patience. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. For those that want to know what it looks like, this is what it looks like. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.